So I built this little web application with Visual Builder where you can click on an employee and go edit their details, give them a raise, for example, associate them with a department, click save, and the data is updated here, right? So you can see the new data over here now. So this is a web application and someone asked me, can I actually take this web and transform it to be a mobile application? Now, if you're familiar with Visual Builder, in Visual Builder, when you build an application, you build either a web or a mobile application, but the technologies that you're using are basically the same. So you can actually, with a little hacking, take your web application and package it as a mobile application. Let me show you what we'll do. So this is my current application. It has two pages under the main flow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new mobile application and um, call it mobile sample, for example. I can choose the layout, for example, let's choose this layout. And I'm going to even call the first one main just because I know that's the name I'm going to use. And I'll leave the other one as is. Okay, and then we'll just create an empty page. So this creates a mobile application for me with three flows, including a main flow with a main start page, which is empty right now. And now I'm going to do a little hacking. So I'm going to take this application and export it. So I'm going to export it with the data. And this is going to create a zip file over here. And I'm going to go over to my download directory. And I'm going to remove those two because they are going to confuse me. This is the zip file I just downloaded and I'm going to extract it. When I extract it and I go in, I can see here's my web application. Okay, and you can see the structure and we have the flow here with the main flow in here. And here's my mobile application. Okay, it also has a flow section with the three flows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this directory and I'm going to remove the main flow from here. That's the mobile application. And then I'm going to copy the main flow from here. So let's do a copy and go back into this directory and paste it here. Okay, so now it's part of this folder. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into this directory where I have everything and I'm going to select everything and I'm going to zip it into a zip file. Okay, um, we'll call it the migrated app. Okay. All right, so now back in our Visual Builder, I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to import an application from a file and I'm going to pick up this migrated zip file I just created. Okay, I can give a name to my application and again, this can be the same name that you had before. The same web application is still in there but we also duplicated some aspects of it into the mobile application we created. So when we um, now open the application, you would see we have a mobile app and we have a web app, okay? Now, there's one more thing that you need to do. So if you go now to the main page and you open it in the mobile app, this is, uh, you're going to open it in the mobile uh, emulator and you can see here's the table, here's the chart, but we don't get any data. Now, the reason is because in my mobile sample, okay, this is my mobile app, if I go into the metadata, one of the things that I don't have here is a connection to services, and you need one if you want to get data from services. If you look at my web app right now, and I look at the metadata here, okay, um, I do have this services business object section. So I can actually copy this, okay, go back to my mobile app, and over here inside the services, just paste this, okay? Um, and let's see if this solved my issue. Yep, now I get my data back in here, okay? So now I have my little mobile app. I can go over to the settings of my mobile app, for example, I can now do a configuration as an Android application or an iOS application, or I can just use a progressive web app and turn it on on this application. And now I can run this. So my application 
function as before, I have the table, because the jet UI is responsive, the chart goes below the table in a small UI. If I turn my device um, to an iPad device, okay, where I have more space, uh, they can actually fit one next to the other. Okay, so this is how my application is going to look like. Uh, functioning wise, I can still click on an employee and go and edit and you can see I'm getting the uh, mobile look and feel for my UI components over here. Okay, I can still save the data and I can also build my application to create um, an actual mobile or progressive web app. So in this case, we enable the progressive web app. We can launch it in a browser which would then ask us, for example, to add the application to our homepage when the application load. Okay, so if we add it to the homepage, we now install this application, okay? And it's now running basically as a little um, desktop application right now with the same functionality. Again, if I resize it, it would be responsive. Um, functionally, by the way, I can also do um, operation like swipe to the left and bring up the menu over here to look at the other items in my application. Okay. Um, so that's basically a little hack that would help you uh, migrate applications from one platform to the other, from web to mobile.